guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today is Friday freebie day how exciting so we are on number 178 and again we have the lovely sort of sewing theme for you um, and if you purchase the shabadashery papers this will go lovely but um, it also works without so don't worry about that you don't need the papers um, this will go into any of your sort of like sh sewing journals um, that you're doing and it's beautiful it's lovely so it's a little pocket and then we've got like a little card here um, and it, it can be made into like a little tag as well um, which is lovely um, I'll show you how I've done it I made one already and of course we have another paper for our lovely Kofi supporters so this is for the one-offs and the monthly supporters um, and we have got lots of lovely little tags um, and little sort of like pocket bits as well so these go on 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 top of here so it makes a little pocket or however you want to use them but I love them so pop over to Kofi if you're a member or a monthly or one-off supporter so I do appreciate you guys so much it really does help with the Friday freebies um, so let's get on with this one I've already cut it out um, or actually I'm going to show you what I've made so this is it and it is lovely I just love it so this is the little pocket now I haven't done anything on the back I haven't printed on the back um, but you can use it as like a floating pocket but I think I'm going to just stick mine I'm going to rubbish on my desk all bits of paper I'm going to stick mine to my journal um, and then leave it and then we've got a little pocket like that or you can stick it on three sides and have something in the side but what I've done with the actual little tag um, I've popped little pins in it I popped a little piece of lace on there I've sewed around it and I've just popped some little pins on there because um, this little card says blouse pins on there which I love and that just pops in there I popped a little hole in there but I haven't made um, I haven't put anything through it um, but I just think that's so so pretty I've got a little bow, I've got a little bit of um, velvet ribbon on there and a little bit of a dingly dangly so we have to have a little dingly dangly don't we so loving it so I'm going to show you, I've got my sewing machine here I've sort of moved along a little bit on my desk so I'm hoping um, it will be a little bit more room for me to work so I've cut the three of them out I haven't cut this one out completely because I am going to back it um, on this one I backed it with a little bit of um, scrap paper that I had um, and then I've sewn around it so I will show you I've got a couple of pieces here that I think I might no too small this is one where I was doing my lovely little journal the other day so what I'm going to do shall I have that at the back I think so I'm just going to quickly stick this down and then um, I will cut it out in a minute and then we will sew around it so it's a nice quick one today um, and it is lovely now I'm going to I'm, as I keep saying I'm going away so um, um, I'm not going to start my journal yet I'm not going to start the um, Shabadashui journal I shall wait a little bit until I come back I think I'm going to just make a few little bits to go in it um, but I'm just going to wait because I don't want to rush it so let's see let's get some ink I'm just going to ink around these little bits here because you know I like I don't like the white edges like that and let's do this one I'm not going to ink at the top because I'm going to pop a little bit of um, lace on there I think so let's just ink around here beautiful colour I absolutely love this colour so again don't forget if you didn't get last week's pop into the Facebook group and pick that up because that was a beautiful um, tag double tag booklet thingy-bijiggy last week so let's pop that like that right that's inked up now what I'm going to do before I cut this out I'm actually going to sew around it but what we need to do is take a little bit of lace across here and I'm going to pop that on like that I think so we just need where's my scissors here we go let's just cut that off now again you don't have to 
pop lace on it you can pop whatever you like on it I'm just going to sort of like even that up a little bit I might just pop just a tiny bit of glue so it stays in place just on the edge this will come out this comes out so so quickly I'm just going to decanter it into something else but gosh it's all blocked up now I don't want to squeeze too hard there we go I'm going to take a little bit of that pop it onto this side I only want a tiny bit just to hold this in place so that's the middle just want to sort of even these bits out like that okay that's stuck on oh should I use this I need this again I need that again because I'm going to this goes on there, it's on the pocket. So on this one, I had a little bit of velvet ribbon and I also had some lace. Now I'm going to put these into my journal. So I don't want two exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to just add something a little bit um, different on there. So I do have this. Oh, I've got, where's my other lace? So I've got this along there, which I think would look quite pretty, wouldn't it? I'll cut that a little bit bigger pop my pin in, pop my pin in here, now I must remember to put the pins in because else I end up with a big mess. Right, I was going to put that on there and then, is this going to be too thick do you think? I'm just going to cover up that little sort of elastic bit but have the little frilly bit underneath and then I've got a couple of these, I found some little um, what they're called, seam binding flowers, that's it. We've got that one, or oh, I've got a green one. What do you reckon? I think that one's probably best, isn't it? Okay, let's have the little blue one. But first, let's just cut a little bit of this off. Ouch. Pop that over there. Well, I hope you guys have had a lovely week. I've had a very, very busy week this week. Um, so, it's been one of those times where there's not been enough hours in the day. Is there? We have days like that, don't we? Should I pop a little bit of this on there? Well, actually, I might. This is the top. Let me just pop a little bit of glue on here. Just like that. Now, if you're not going to sew, then just sort of um, make sure you glue it on properly. I don't know whether that's going to be enough glue on there. I'm going to stick this one down. No, that's going to be enough, I don't know. And then I think I'm just going to hold that on and sew across there. Oh, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then we're going to sew, I'm going to sew around this before I cut it out, um, just around the edge to hold that on. So let me bring the sewing machine over and then what I will do, I will sew that onto that. So let's just get these little bits out of the way. Bring my sewing machine in or slide it across like that. Now I'm hoping you can see this bit, can you see that bit? I think so. I think you can. Right, so I'm just going to pop this on there like that. Pop it under the sewing machine. We can trim it up in a minute. Now I still have my brown thread under there. There we go. Pop that in. Find my little pedal under there. quite sure whether that's a little bit wibbly wobbly did I actually catch it just where's my scissors let's just chop those bits off right I didn't quite catch it on that bit look can you see but I am going to go along the bottom bit just along this bit as well oops 
Lovely, lovely. Okay. Right, let's turn that over and I'm just going to snip this little bit off there. And that little bit off there. Now that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Let's just put that and then this will stick on there like that. So I will stick that on and then I will just sew around it. So I'm going to just stick it down gently with a little bit of this. Just a tiny bit of tacky glue around just a tiny bit on the edges and this will sit on there like that there we go well sort of straight oops there we go so now what i'm going to do is just sew around the whole thing move that out of the way Perfect, there we go. Look at that, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Chop those little bits off. Then we've got this lovely little pocket. I'll pop the little flower on there in a minute. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew around this one. Now this one is a little bit harder to sew around, round to the corners, but doing it like this, it's so much easier. Um, and then you get really good sort of line when you cut it out. So I'm just going to quickly When you sew, just take your time when you're doing little going round corners and stuff like that because um, it does make a big difference I think Instead of just going really really quickly you've got to sort of learn not to put your foot down and go really fast although it's quite tempting it's okay if you're going on a straight line but when you go around corners It's tempting to go fast. So if you've got a little um, thing on your machine which you can change the speed, then make sure you put it on slow if you're not brilliant on the machine. And lift your foot up and down to go round. Not that I'm a seamstress, but this is just what I find the easiest to do. If you're a seamstress, you're probably looking at me thinking, um, I've got a lot to learn, but um, we get there with practice. There we go. Just lift that up, make sure that lace is going to go underneath properly. Okay, so there we go. That's all sewn around there. All nice and neat and tidy, I hope. Well, sort of. Oops. Okay, so you can see there. That's not too bad, is it? 
Right, that's the finish of the sewing. So let's move our lovely machine out the way. There we go. Love it. Where's my big scissors? Oops. There we go. And then all I'm going to do then is cut this around. Well, cut, well, cut the white bit off then. And then you end up with a nice tidy edge. And it's a lot easier to sew as well because you've got more... Um, sort of paper to hang on to and trying to do it when it's cut out and tiny like that so it's a little bit easier there we go. just cut it out I think it looks really lovely there we go perfect look at that and then look at that you can always use that as a little in your collage if you do collaging you can add that in let's just pop a little bit of ink around the edge cover up that little white line there we go perfect lovely look at that that's lovely so shall i pop a little hole out from there make it as a little tag there we go. I think I might get some, let me just get, oh I've got a little bit of seam binding in here. What should we have? Maybe I'll just pop a little bit of white. Should I pop just a little bit of white? That looks pretty, doesn't it? Let's just scrunch this up a little bit more. If I can, scrunch it up. Pop it through. Oh, I do like the flowery back. I love those papers though. Let's pop this through. Pop it all through, then we're not going to waste anything. So let's just pop that down. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? Fabulous. Pop that back in my little pot. Scrunch that up a little bit. Look at that. Lovely. Okay. There we go. Nearly done. Now I'm going to pop this on there, which I think looks lovely. I could do with a little little bit of bling in the middle, really, couldn't we? Little dingly dangly blingy bit we should have. Like I put in the other one. So let's just stick that on there. Make sure I don't stick it to the back ouch no i haven't here we go glue stick everywhere let me get my little blingy bits here we go these are my tiny little little um these are like the little sew on crystals um now i need could do with a little pair of tweezers which i still haven't got a proper pair of tweezers to use Let's just pop this on there. Tiny bit of glue gun. Little bit of. There we go. Just pop that in the middle. There we go. Stick that down. Actually, I've got the long chainy bit, which is crystals. That would probably look quite nice along there. So maybe I'd make another one if I've got three signatures. I could do one with a little bit of blingy on there, couldn't I? Okay, shall we have some um, pins? So let's just pop a few little pins in there. Like that. You could make one where you could actually just put your... If you've got some pretty sort of um, pins like this, um, but sort of like smaller, you could add those as well, couldn't you? What should we have? Let's put in there there we go all oh, odd we've got a smaller one not really tell you what these are nice and shiny but a few little um, rusty old pins would look quite nice if you're doing a grungy um, sewing journal wouldn't they there we go lovely now I also ordered from which I don't have um some rubber stamps some sewing rubber stamps 
from Amazon. I will pop the link under the video because um, I'm going to do some for Sunday. On Sunday I'll do um, a video sort of like um, using the rubber stamps and making some things to go into the journal um, but that's what I will be doing Sunday. So I don't have the um, stamps here but they are really lovely. I'll pop a link underneath so you can go and have a little nosy anyway see what they're like. So there we go guys this is your Friday freebie and I am loving it. I just think it looks fabulous doesn't it? Look at that. Just a beautiful addition to your journal. Um, and again, if you're not going to, if you're going to use it as a floating pocket, I would print something on the back or stick something. You could probably stick the same paper as you have on the back of your card or of your little tag, um, which would look nice. But there we go, guys. That's your Friday freebie. Little project to keep you busy over the weekend. Um, and I am loving it. I shouldn't, I need a little bit of stuff in there too, don't I? I will do that but there we go guys thank you so so much so do pop over to the Facebook group all the links are underneath the video um, and don't forget to download last week's as well even if you don't use them and you're just storing them um, keep them on your device um, because they're not always in the, the Facebook group and again if you are part of our Kofi family um, a one-off or a monthly supporter please pop over and pick up your extra page so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fab weekend take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.